Hi all, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So in the previous video, which I have posted a week before, we just left out discussing the creation of this animated icon. And in this session, we will be just extending the same map with extra feature of adding an audio file in Flutter. So we will be also making use of this pass play icon to pause a play over that audio file. So if anybody is new to this video, I will also leave the link for the previous video for creating this animated icon in the description as well. So you can make use of that. And without wasting time, let's get started with the coding part. So as created for the animated icon, we just created a controller. Similarly, for playing an audio file in Flutter, we just need to have audio catch. And before that, I will also just say the dependency what you need to add. So this is the dependency you need to have in the patch pack. So it is the audio player and just check out the version number alone. So this may make sure it is the current version. And I have also added uh, two audio files or music files in the assets folder. So that's it. So this is the previous setup. And we just need to create two instances, which is an audio catch as well as the audio player. First, let us create an audio catch instance for that. Let me name it as the audio catch as well and we just need to create an audio player and let me name it as audio player okay and we just need to create two set of duration parameters one is for the current duration and another is for the maximum duration or the length of that music file so let me first create that Similarly, for the other, let me name it as position. Okay. And I'll be also creating a Boolean variable, which is on playing. Okay, which we'll be making use of in the later part. Okay. okay. And before this, let me also create a function which is with two seconds. So this function basically will return a duration value. So the input would be an integer. It just converts that into a duration parameter or whatever. So let me just get that okay I want it sound of better Okay, not seconds, actually second. And we just return that. Duration. Okay. This is just end of the initial setups. Okay. Now, just in the init state, we we'll just add or we will be calling this init player. We just need to create an instance for audio player. This new audio player. And similarly for audio catch. We just need to have new audio catch. Which takes the parameter which is the fixed player. Which takes the audio player instance okay. now we just need to have or we just need to make use of this duration handler and the position handler let me create that so this duration handler will be 
just retaining the current duration sorry this returns the maximum duration of the song or the music so let me define an arrow function for that let me have set state and when you say that set state let me just set the duration to be the parameter what I passed over here so this arrow function returns uh, just initializes the duration with the maximum duration of the song so similarly we just have a position handler which is more likely to be same let's change in position handler and here is the position and parameter is spin. Okay. So after this, let us just start creating. Before that, we just need to have a slider. So this slider will be indicating or just indicates the duration or the seek time the song is being played. So let's just define a slider and the slider let me set the active color so this active color is what the current song the time the current song is being played for the duration what you say and the inactive color let me set it as colors dot gray so this is the remaining set of song that is yet to be played and let me uh, define the value parameter which is position followed by I just want it in terms of seconds and it also takes it in terms of double so let me just type cast it to double followed by this so this value is the current value that is the current value or the current state what the song is being played the duration whatever and another parameter which is max which is the maximum length of that slider so which is the duration same in terms of seconds followed by two double okay and followed by whenever there is a change in that slider so on change just need to pass the value and inside that let me have a set state Wherein I will be specifying or calling that seek two seconds function by passing the value. So that accepts integer. So let me just type cast it to int. Followed by let me now change the value to be that value, updated value. So this in turn will call this function that I have written over here seek two seconds. Sorry. Sorry. I just so this seconds will be taking the input as integer that is the parameter as integer which converts that to a duration parameter so whenever the song is being played it just slides over this slider just slides over the current duration now we just want to have the current duration value to be a text widget over here and the maximum duration text widget over here at the end so let's create that now we have a padding for that first with the padding let me define that edge inserts are symmetrical and I'll be specifying the horizontal values let me set it as 20 Okay. and the child for that padding is a row with that row let me set the main axis alignment first I just want that to be space between followed by the children widget for that row is two text widget actually uh, this text widget will be taking that the first will be taking the position 
it is underscore position what in seconds dot to double to double off okay so similarly the next text widget will be taking the duration alone okay duration parameter so we have these two over here now we just need to have the music to be played whenever the user just presses this animated icon so whenever this is in play state the audio must get played so we just need to write logic alone and I will be checking if the song is playing if it is not so then I will be just playing over the song I will catch it out play off the song name here it is song one dot mp3 okay. so if the song is not being played then I will be playing that song and I will be also just setting the so the set state let me just set is song playing as true okay if it is not so so if the song is not being played then it is in fast state so it's for that we just make use of the audio player so the audio player will be having the pass okay i'll be passing that song and i will be also setting this is song playing as false okay so the song is not being played then i will be playing that song and setting that this song playing as true or if the song is not being played then i will be passing that song and i will be setting that is song playing as false so with this we just completed creating the functionality so let's just check that out see we get this music icon over the top in the browser so actually whenever uh, the song is being played you will be getting the current duration so it just keeps on incrementing as the slider seeks out and you will be getting the maximum duration over here okay so for this song it's actually 100 so the error is that i don't know why it's not showing in the browsers but i have just checked out in the physical device as well as the emulator it's working absolutely fine so just don't worry about this void state so that functionality is not being shown in this browser i don't know why so but it is working fine in emulator as well as the physical device so that's it guys Thanks for watching. Stay tuned till the next update. Bye.